Hey, welcome into the channel. This is Michael from Viral Home Based Pursuits. In this video, I'll be giving you the FreshBooks tutorial that you've been looking for. So I'm gonna be getting into the share screen here in just a second, but I do wanna let you know that FreshBooks makes it fast and easy for you to collect invoices, um, make payments, right? track vendors, billing, banking statements, so much more um, as opposed to not having a piece of software like this, right? Having to have a pen, write it down on paper, you know how that all goes, plus other ways of doing it. This takes away the pain, the mental and physical pain, saves you the amount of time, the effort, and um, money as well as it will make you more at the end of the day because it's all organized in a location for you to easily access. Now, I won't spend more time. Let me get into the share screen here and I'm gonna show you how this works. So this is the home page that you will see before you get signed up, which by the way, you can pick up for a free 30 day trial. There is no risk here. Quite in fact, you don't even have to enter your credit card information. That's how awesome it is. Um, I have my own account. I made a test account for you, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like in the beginning. Um, I won't spend too much time from top to bottom, um, how it all looks, the features and all the benefits to it. Um, I actually made a separate video where I compare QuickBooks to FreshBooks. I'll leave it down below in the description so you can go ahead and check that one out. So go ahead and put your email here. It's gonna ask for your password to create one. You can do a suggested one if you would wish. Um, and then once you press enter, um, you'll be able to confirm your uh, email address through your account that you signed up with. So what does your business do? There are gonna be a, there's gonna be a couple questions here. Go ahead and answer these. So I'll go ahead and do them here. You can also follow along if you wish, um, but I'm gonna just keep going here. So we'll do something like, you know, there's a whole bunch of different areas you can go ahead and select from. Right from web hosting all the way top to construction and trades. So we'll do kind of like marketing for this because I use it for digital marketing purposes to track stuff that I do with my main um, business through affiliate marketing and also doing some coaching, consulting um, and in different aspects. So how do you describe your business? Go ahead and fill this information out. Okay. Just kind of kind of go through this. Hit continue. Mine auto populate so I can put the information in here. Just kind of do myself from now on. That way I save some time going through this. How did you hear about it? Something simple as that. It's just for them to get more information. It's good for um, marketing purposes. And when you do direct response marketing or interaction marketing, whatever it is, it's good to collect data, demographics, um, you know, who's coming to and where are they coming from. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's pretty, um, it looks a little bit creative um, and it's similar kind of to what the QuickBooks dashboard has. Again, there's a link down below You can check that out. But um, here we have the top right drop down arrow. We can do a client, a retainer, an invoice. We can select from other income, expense, and then an estimate. And then we can also invite some more people if you want, if you wanna share this with others, right? If you have a manager, um, some employees that you wanna go ahead and hand this over to. I know a lot of businesses that do this. Um, I will do this at times myself. Contractor, accountant, you know, the admin. Um, set up progress, it'll show you how much of that you've completed. Add the company details, custom look. And then you can send a test invoice. Just kind of go through this and because of the time. It'll let you do a test invoice. And that's what I like about FreshBooks, it allows you to do this. So to and from, the amount, 
and then, and then you can send the email. You can add more of a personal touch with the message. Send it, but it'll basically be completed. And then there's more you can go through here, as you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and create new up here. Or we can go to the left side here. Um, one other thing you can do here is go to the settings. And, uh, and, and you want to do this all from the beginning. I would go ahead and start putting my company profile, items and services, apps and integrations, all the way, okay? Because this is going to save you the time. And once you're billing, you're doing all that, it just registers nicely. And you don't have to go in afterwards and set all that up because it's, you know, you want to get going, right? You have other responsibilities you need to take care of, especially if you're managing. Um, so kind of going to show you this part. Company profile, company name, right? If it's your name, mobile phone, standard rates, you need that. Uh, but let's go ahead and save that. Uh, it's because I didn't mess around with this, but let's go back to the dashboard. I won't save the changes because I didn't have to make any changes or I didn't want to add to right now. So we do the drop down, we can create an invoice here, or we can do create new invoice. Invoice is a majority of what people use, and that's where you might spend a lot more of your time in. It's just tracking those um, sales that are coming in to you, the ones that are getting paid by a customer, um, and what you're collecting in, right? So you have the new invoice, cancel, save, and send button up there. You can add a logo if need be, your location, name, phone number, just stuff you want to have built to. You can add a plus there and put their name and say, I'm just you know doing it myself. But then you would go ahead and put their street address, city, state, zip, country, date of issue. When did you issue this invoice? Okay, when is that invoice due? When will that person pay you money? Right, you're collecting the money, right? That can go back into the business, how it needs to go. Invoice number, if they give you an invoice number, go ahead and put that here, reference, um, an amount due. We can put an amount um, down here. All right, we're going to go into the description. What's the item name? Funnels or websites. Just websites. So there's a physical product. You know, this is more of a digital kind of thing, but, you know, with physical stuff packages or if it's digital, you can still use the same thing. Um, the rate. Thirty by one. What is it? Line total thirty dollars. So it's thirty is the going rate. We can add taxes to it if you have a tax. What is the tax rates percentage? Ten percent. Tax name, tax number ID. You know how that goes. Okay, and then we can go here. Um, we can go to settings for this invoice. Accept online payments. We can change that to yes if you want to. And you can show other ways to get paid. Stripe, allow clients to make partial online payments for this invoice. You can get started for that once you're done. All right, so we're gonna go through that, customize the invoice style, right, the look of it. All right, the lines changing there in color, change the font, press done. Make recurring, convert this invoice into a recurring template. All right, we can just use the same template, easy. It's already in there, saves you time, so you don't have to customize it all over again. So then we can save the whole thing once we're done here. And then we're gonna email the person, right? Send this message to the person that we want to get that invoice from, all right? So we're saving it here too, and they're gonna see our like business name, likely, um, sent to, and then save, so they'll get that invoice. And it's super fast, right, because then you can, start tracking all this information plus let me cancel this plus let's say you added more than one invoice so you keep adding more invoices right um, See. 
Yes, you keep adding an invoice. Um, you likely want to do it one by one. Um, it's just easier. I know stuff with QuickBooks, you can also do a lot many at once. Um, I was just trying to see what else was in here. If anything hadn't been changed. So then we can save it after we put all the information in there. And then what you want to do is if you have more products than one, keep clicking this per that person. Um, so we're going to keep doing that. If we have more products, if you don't, if you have one, just do one and then go from there. So we're going to cancel this. And then you can do clients, right? That can all be accessed from over here. Once you have this data, it'll be in here. Um, but then we can do a new client. First name, last name, client settings, set a reminder if you would like to. It's always nice to automatically send payment reminder for this client's invoice so they can keep getting a reminder. Hey, it's time to pay. Hey, it's maybe somebody's um, approaching that time or maybe somebody has gone over. You can go ahead and go through that. I know I've done that myself on a couple of, on a couple of times. Invoices will appear here payments and then on retainers if you have them other incomes expenses estimates right expenses is what you um, have to owe right it's kind of what you're liable for if we're talking about accounting right in terms of assets and liabilities kind of what you owe somebody is kind of like um, overall what you're paying after you know with vendor with vendor with vendors and just pretty much what you're going to owe. Okay. So time tracking, that's a great feature that it has in here. Um, so you can go ahead and easily, yeah, I was just looking at something here. You can easily track the days um, that you have a project or a client to work with. Maybe you want to set up a future invoice. Maybe you're done, you cross that off makes it super easy, which means you will free up more time for yourself than you actually think. Projects, my team, right? If you're going ahead and sharing this with other people, you can invite team members. At the current moment, it's just me. Um, and then, like I said, like you can add these people in here. Go to invite. We'll go back to the dashboard. We could do an expense here, right? With the expense, we can do add the vendor, um, the name of that vendor, right? Um, and then you will be able to have the subtotal and then add taxes on top of that if that's what you're doing. Round, round total, it'll show you that at the bottom there. Expense set is, uh, settings, mark as billable. You don't need to, mark as recurring. The currency that you're accepting the money, uh, that you're paying the money in, and then the cost of the goods sold. You can add an image there just so they know to uh, look, this is you, if they've seen you before, makes it easier for that person, right? You always wanna make everything easier on yourself, but also think about what the other uh, people are going through as well. So we can add a description, right? Kind of create that. Taxes if we want there, but the information will be in here once you get that expense. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty simple. On your dashboard, you're going to get the total profit, revenue stream, spending, unbilled time. This stuff will accumulate in time when you're using it more, just because I created a new account. Uh, mine is filled, but you'll start seeing this. So you want to reference this from time to time or not when you're creating new invoices. Uh, retainers, other incomes, um, estimates, stuff like that. You know, when you're tracking all these things, then you want to also reference the dashboard. So that way you are keeping track of everything. Um, and then you have reports, accounting down here. Um, it's, a it's, it's, a, it's less intuitive than I would say QuickBooks is. QuickBooks gives you a lot more. But that's also for like larger companies, businesses, corporations. Um, more so for like small businesses, affiliate stuff that I do, digital marketing. It just depends on what you need it for. Um, but again, I also cover that in the video with QuickBooks versus FreshBooks. So if you want to look at that, I'll leave it down below in the description. Um, but that's everything from me. 
sorry, it got kind of dark. I know um, it's still the afternoon here in Washington, but I'm in a room without the lights. Good thing the screen is on here. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave me one down below. I'd like to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Um, what do you want to use FreshBooks for? Um, have you had any experience with any kind of accounting software? If so, which ones? And they're on out. All right, look in the description again for your free FreshBooks trial. And that is everything from me. Thanks.